All right, guys, we're going to be taking a look at this custom Flak 88. This was designed by another one of my good buddies, Lego Guy 830 here on YouTube, or Elliot. He designed this way back when, probably five years ago now. Maybe not that long ago, but pretty long ago, at least a couple years ago. He actually has a full tutorial on this on his YouTube channel. I might ask him if I can remake that video so you guys can see it directly and his video, it's very old and it's not the best video and I think he can contest to that, but I think I could remake it and provide that content for you guys and you guys could learn how to make an awesome vehicle like the one you see here. So without further ado guys, we're going to take a closer look at this Flak 88. So it is basically all dark blue gray parts. Now you can see there's a couple parts, for example the feet here and then that swivel piece under there is white, so those are black. Those are all supposed to be dark bluish gray. I simply just did not have those parts on hand when I built this. I built this kit or model for my D-Day mock series. You can check that out in the card section. I'll put a couple of the episodes up there. But I needed some kind of German vehicle or artillery or something to put up in my D-Day bunkers for the Germans. So I decided to make a Flak 88. I think it turned out pretty cool and uh, I'm excited to go over this with you. So guys, this is a really cool model. It's got a lot of features. One other thing is you can see those parts are the old Lego gray. Those are supposed to be new. But you know, like I said, I built, built it with what I could at the time, but uh, we're gonna take a look at this model or I keep calling it a vehicle, but really it's just artillery. So we're gonna take a look at it right now. So what's really cool is obviously this can spin all the way around so you got 360 degrees and then you can also articulate this gun I don't know if that's 90 or if that's zero that's probably what 15 degrees so I would like to think that's pretty ac you know accurate I bet the real ones can go up probably to 45 degrees or so but this one can articulate up quite a bit and you know it stays up and then you can make it point directly out but that doesn't look as good so I normally leave it kind of pointed up like that at an angle you can see that these two legs here and then the one over there are the same and then these two are the same. So they're not all four the same. So you got a little bit more detail on these two than the main front two. Now using some binocular pieces, we got some studs, some clip pieces and some cheese slopes to add more detail and it just looks more accurate. So on this side, this is where the actual not driver or pilot, but I guess the gunner sits. Now he's got a little chair there. Now there are a couple more details that I did not build that are actually supposed to go off of those studs right there. Some more cranks and whatnot. I, once again, I just didn't have those parts. If I do the tutorial video, I will definitely build, rebuild this model, you know, use all dark bluish gray parts and make it look really nice. But for this review, I'm just gonna review what I have. So obviously you can have a German minifigure just sit here. Like there, you can see he's sitting on a two by two round plate. And uh, you know, he looks pretty freaking awesome there. He's just kind of chilling, shooting a bunch of ammo. And then we got all these different detailing pieces here. Binoculars, I don't know what part that's called, but it's some minifigure accessories. We got some grill pieces. And one part that's used a lot in this model, if you want to build this, is those Technic, they're not pins, I guess they are Technic pins. And then a lot of like lightsaber rods in black. So you can see, all those are pins lined up over some lightsaber pieces. That's the same as the barrel, and then there's some other down there. So a lot of those Technic pins, you are definitely gonna need those. If I spin this all the way around, once again, you are using a quite a bit of Technic. So we got this arch piece here, we got another link back there, and then there's another piece that needs to be fixed, but overall, I think it looks fine for now. But you can see more Technic, there are those same Technic pins there. And um, we can take a look at the bottom, or actually, take that off, hold on. We can take a look at the bottom here, that's kind of what it looks like, just to give you an idea. Once again, if I do a tutorial video, I'll go over all of this step by step, so don't worry about that. And then we can move this, keep moving it. So that articulates with the gun, if you notice down there. These here, that moves with the gun, so obviously, you can have a lot of range of motion with this. You can pose it in different angles and whatnot like I talked about. But overall, I mean, another thing is you have the red, white, red, not red, what am I talking about? White and black stripes up here. I don't know what that actually symbolizes or if that's just, I need to look at a reference picture because I don't know what that actually is for. Let me know in the comments because I've seen that on a bunch of different Lego flax and I don't know what that is. 
And another thing is, a lot of people, there's some misconception, there's like a flak 88, but then there's also like, it's like a 12 point something millimeter or centimeter gun. So I need to look that up before I title the video, but in the title it's probably gonna just be flak 88, um, just because that's what I've known it as. But this is the model. I don't know what else to show you guys. You can definitely see it in my uh, D-Day video and see kind of it in action, see what it looks like in a mock or on a mock and I think it looks pretty good so let me know in the comments down below what you guys think of this let me know if Elliot did a good job I think he did for I mean he built this at least three years ago when he was quite younger so I think he did a great job and I'll probably talk to him and see if he'll let me do a tutorial video but uh, yeah guys that's the flak 88 let me know what you guys want me to review in upcoming vehicle you know videos because every Wednesday we're going to be uploading a vehicle review so let me know what you want me to review next and uh, I can definitely take a look at that I have a couple more little anti-aircraft guns that I want to go over but maybe we could do a tank next so let me know what you guys want me to review in next Wednesday's video and uh, other than that guys thank you so much for watching check out some more videos here on screen right there and there and make sure you guys subscribe by clicking right there thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the